Hello there Virgo and welcome to your oracle messages for whenever you get this video and it resonates for your situation regardless of the date and time. Uh, keep in mind Virgo that this is a general reading so if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all. Check your moon, your rising or your Venus signs or feel free to check out the past oracle messages uh, or any of the other messages. Those are all timeless. Okay. So Virgo, let's find out what your oracle messages are um, and what you need to know about your situation right now. Nice. So this may be a time uh, for some of you Virgos, you may be uh, you may be doing things to take care of yourself or there's a message here for some of you guys, you do need to nurture yourself, okay? Um, and also take care of the things that you love, um, especially if it's your people's, um, if it's your home, whatever it is that you really cherish. I do see uh, Virgo, it's like you're making yourself um, and your environment and everything that you love even more uh, beautiful, okay? So I see a situation, Virgo, where we're really enjoying, um, maybe for some of you guys, you're coming into some type of abundance here. Uh, there may be some um, luxury items that you're enjoying. Um, again, though, the, the, the clear mes message here is nurturing yourself, okay? Because your energy is showing up as a queen of pentacles here. Um, the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical and wise advice. I feel for some of you Virgos, you've got passion coming your way, so you need to prepare yourself again. Uh, maybe some of you Virgos really want to nurture, rest, take care of yourself. Um, maybe you're doing some health improvements and um, self-improvements as well, okay? And also what I want to say too, is it may be time to protect everything that you really do ch uh, cherish and love. And, um, I was going to say something else about this, uh, the queen of pentacles for you. It might, it might come back up here. Uh, let's just move on and see what else for you. <clears throat> Some of you Virgos, um, there's this energy right now that you're really setting yourself up um, and, and preparing yourself for the next phase uh, of your life because a lot of you Virgos are very accomplished. Um, if you're not feeling very accomplished and successful with this Queen of Ariel showing up, it's really signifying that you guys are mastering your physical um, environment, that you are going to, um, yeah, you guys are going to come into some type of incredible amount of abundance here. I'm not kidding. The Empress energy is showing up lavish abundance okay so some of you virgos are sitting in some abundance right now you're or you're 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 coming into this okay um there's a lot of emphasis here virgo about um taking care of oneself taking care of others uh, there may be a time of really nurturing uh, family or children for some of you virgos but i do see for some of you virgos if you're single out there you're getting ready to really uh, prepare yourself for something that is long standing. Um, and so don't question uh, anything because what I see about you, Virgo, is a lot of you guys are really sitting um, in this really just a high valued person here, okay? So we have lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. So there's two cards here, which the queen of uh, pentacles is uh, really tied in with uh, the Empress energy anyways with Empress cards. So there is a lot of emphasis right now about, about taking care of yourself. Um, you know, maybe you want to do something new with your health or your looks um, or just maybe getting more uh, rest or just pampering yourself more, whatever it is. Um, start preparing yourself. This is all about uh, preparing yourself for the next phase of your life because there's some type of new for some of you guys, yeah, maybe it's parenting, but for a lot of you guys anyways, I mean, either way, it's a whole new chapter in your life, okay? So I definitely see a situation where Virgo, there's something about the energy that you're surrounded by right now that you really uh, do make things really beautiful. There's something really creative with you. Maybe some of you guys are doing things creative or you have ideas to do so. Um, trust that instinct okay and run with it um let's see that's so cute <laughs> little owl sound okay uh what else for virgo 
there may be something uh, significant about, <clears throat> for some of you Virgos, with your mother or uh, someone that is like a, of a mother figure for a lot of you guys, okay? Um, I'm just seeing something about really this beautiful energy of compassion and, and really uh, protecting you. Some of you guys may have a mother that has passed on or someone that felt like a mother on the other side here. Um, that is really surrounding you with a lot of love and protection. It's almost like they always see you as their baby. Uh, whether this is someone you've met in your life, because sometimes you you don't get to meet your mothers or your grandmothers and your great grandmothers or something like that. It's definitely got a feminine energy to it, okay? Um, I just felt like saying that for some of you guys. Let's see what else for you, Virgo. There may be something here with um, being out in nature. I just see a lot of... Um, just a lot of beautiful, like, I don't know. It's just really beautiful, abundant energy going on with this queen of pentacles and the empress. Three of summer. Yeah, Virgo. You know, there, some of you guys may really get uh, engaged, married, or maybe you're going to have like a baby shower. There, there's something wrapped around um, bonding and, and relationships here. So, you guys need to prepare yourself. You guys are going to have um, something that's going to be worth celebrating. Announcements such as weddings, graduations, or births. Also, friends that you cherish here. So we've got the three of cups here. So I see a lot of you Virgos also uh, being some type of provider uh, with either your intelligence, uh, maybe your abundance. Somehow you nurture uh, people or a community. Uh, maybe it's through your work or your purpose here. Um, and so I do see something about you being celebrated as well. There's definitely this feeling of being very social. So I do want to say for some of you Virgos, this is really a healthy time to get social. Okay. And this three of cups could also signify some type of um, maybe even dating. Um, just something that's really going to feel good with the people that you like or a person that you like. Let's just continue and see what else comes out. Water sign is showing up here. Let's see. What else for Virgo? And some of you Virgos, you, you may come across someone who is quite abundant, um, really, really um, intuitive, uh, very strong and grounded at the same time that really can give you some spiritual and practical advice, um, okay? So prepare for that. Uh, oh, the illusion of being trapped. You know what? <laughs> My goodness. Okay, places. there may be something here where we might be obsessed with something, okay? We could have too much, uh, uh, you know what? This is very, very interesting, actually. Some Virgos, there there may be too much emphasis on material um, items right now. So if you guys are getting caught up in any of that or any fear or worry, uh, there is this awareness. We, we do have Capricorn energy. We have uh, ego here. So uh, something is... Um, there is something that is like leaving though. That's the thing. So it must, <laughs> something is banishing away in your life, you guys. Um, and you will be celebrating something. It will be some type of, lib you're going to feel liberated actually. Let me get a little bit more too with the, um, the devil card here. It's almost like some type of old ways. Um, maybe for some, it's even, uh, for some, maybe even like old, um, lack mentality thinking, um, or there's some type of, for some of you guys, there's this new way of looking at, um, balance when it comes to material, uh, gains and, uh, spiritual gains. Let me get a little bit more with this ego card for Virgo. You know what this is? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. There may be something here for some of you guys that maybe some of your plans do need to be revised. Um, there's more going on than meets the eye. Okay. The seven of, 
The Seven of Swords is showing up here. Virgo, what the hell? I feel for some of you Virgos. I feel for some of you Virgos. You may be questioning your self-confidence and your worthiness, and this is why Spirit is emphasizing to really take care of yourself and nurture yourself, honor yourself. Some of you guys really dealt with a very toxic energy. Uh, some of you guys dealt with someone that was very deceptive or people that are deceptive. Some of you guys need to pay attention to your surroundings right now and the people um, that you're surrounded by here, okay? I see you guys um, really releasing yourself from a very toxic situation here. Some of you guys may, okay. For some of you Virgos, you may need to get out of a situation and you need to probably need to revise your plans and, and, um, and, and not make any sudden moves. There may be something about poor timing with things. So it's like, I don't see a whole lot of action here except for nurturing, taking your, care of yourself, giving birth to creative projects and ideas here. Okay. So... Uh, be aware of that because some of you guys are just there's yeah there's definitely a sense of you don't know a whole lot that's going on but we need to release anything that that does keep us trapped and it could even be obsessing about past guilt or hurts or shame from a situation where for a lot of you Virgos have really dealt with something that was very toxic and deceptive okay um, what else for Virgo but I do see some of you Virgos it's like for some, you guys have already released this or you're doing something to release it currently. Let's see. I mean, some of you Virgos might have dealt with a possible Capricorn that could have been a liar or a cheater or just someone that's hiding here or sneaky, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's see. What else for Virgo? Just kind of stay with doing the honorable thing either way and you won't go wrong. Okay, Virgo? I can't even believe this. What the frick? So, very, very interesting, Virgo. We're getting the Seven of Swords again. Again. Twice. Right on top of the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. This, the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles is you, Virgo. I want more about the Seven of Swords. There may be something here with calling a truce or there may be something here where what was some of you Virgos, I'm picking up for some of you Virgos, something was t taken from you. I, whatever felt like it was taken, it, it's like something, there's some kind of energy of it returning back, okay? I want a little bit more too with this Seven of Swords. Air sign is showing up, Virgo. Give me a little bit more about the Seven of Swords, what Virgo needs to know. So you need to take time. Yeah, you do need to take time and heal. You guys have really, there's something about laying things to rest right now. Um, again, there's just this feeling of calling a truce or coming clean or at least just really having... Um, healing from a past situation where a Virgos you guys have dealt with uh, very harsh energies okay um, take time and rest take time to heal take time to nurture yourself this is the time to do it is right now okay um, let's see what else comes out for you Virgo there may be something here too for some of you Virgos where you've been hurt by someone or lied to it's possible that they're laying things to rest right now. There, it's, I'm just saying something about non-action and non-movement of feeling at a distance with someone that we've had, we felt de deceived by, period. Okay, what else for Virgo? Yeah, there is this potential for some of you Virgos with this Three of Cups, the Seven of Swords, Four of Swords. It is, uh, for some of you guys, it could possibly be a potential of someone coming and returning after they've taken some time to heal um, and really look at what has been done. 
uh, but there, there's still this feeling of non-action either way. So let's just get more anyways for you. See what else. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at this. The hanged man. We've got to get a new perspective about something that, that we're having a hard time letting go. There is something that Virgo, we may have a hard time letting go here. Um, and there's also a situation where things have to be at a halt right now for some type of new enlightenment about a situation. This could be, uh, I mean, definitely could be your energy, but it could also be an energy that you've dealt with in the past here with this seven of swords thing going on. Okay. And I don't like seeing this because I do see three of cups. I see seven of swords. Some of you guys, there was some type of feeling like someone was going behind your back or cheating or whatever it was. I'm not saying all of you just take it. Just take seven of swords as a card of deception and lies hiding. Okay. Um, someone's got themselves trapped because of it. Okay. Let's not have it be you though, Virgo. Okay. Because Virgo right now, it's like, I see Virgo, you flourishing while some other crap has to kind of work out. Maybe it's karma just has to play out for someone in a situation. Your, your job right now is to really honor and take care of yourself, but don't, don't be too focused on looks obsessively for some of you guys or your health obsessively. Don't be obsessed with material things and luxury items obsessively. It's all about balance, right? Um, just take care of what you know you can take care of. Um, and just take that message for how it resonates for some of you Virgos out there. So we got this hangman. Let's see what else comes out for you, Virgo. And I am noticing, you know, this <laughs> definitely notice like this feminine and uh, masculine. It looks like this is a masculine here. Um, doesn't matter about gender. I'm just talking about energies here. So mm -hmm. some of you guys has been a harsh situation you had to deal with. What else for um, Virgo? The other thing for some of you Virgos, don't question your worthiness or your looks or if you're good enough. The thing is, is you are good enough. The question is, is that person probably did not deserve the love and the attention that you gave them probably gave them too much uh, than what they deserve because um, I just see someone here that is uh, literally having to uh, sit with what sit with something and and observe and watch and get an, an enlightenment about a situation. Okay, let's see what else for you. We got the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I'm just seeing Virgo. You guys. Um, you have this ability and some of you guys already are just really um, in your confidence right now. You've really done some shadow work. Other of you guys, other Virgos, you just need to hear that you are going to get your confidence back and you are, I'm telling you, you're going to have, uh, you're going to have, you're going to have your mojo back if you're not feeling like that. Okay. There's a lot about your talents right now too and your br brilliance and your independence. Some of you Virgos, there may be some worry about being single and having children or being off on your own. That's for a few of you, not all of you. Um, I'm just picking this up with this Queen of Wands energy here. Don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams, Virgo. So we are in this Four of Swords energy, so this is a time to dream. This is a time to reassess what happened in the past and take a new opportunity or a new route or a new road. You may have several priorities uh, prying or vi vying for your attention at once, but you can do it. So maybe, yeah, because I'm just seeing this, I'm seeing this uh, Queen of Wands, this Persian cat with like two little kittens, you know, but she's got a lot going on. She's, she's a leader. She's successful. She's bold. She's, um, ambitious. She's creative. She's loyal and a dedicated mother. Um, not all of you guys are mothers I know or fathers. It doesn't matter. Uh, but there's just maybe something here about multitasking. Okay. Um, I just see you guys really flourishing when it comes to you though, Virgo, um, really like massively blowing up and looking real good actually so you guys just need to have confidence and believe in yourself because you guys are showing up very very strong wise and valued and and very um 
I mean, you're looking real good, Virgo. Okay, I know this energy that you dealt with before isn't easy. Um, let's see, what else for Virgo? of cups so Virgo um, I yeah I was seeing the four of cups with that four of swords as well seek out other possibilities see this is the thing it's almost like okay you have a chance now uh, Virgo with whatever had happened you can redirect the course of events right now by really taking care of yourself honoring yourself um, there is something that spirit wants you guys to uh, see clearly because there may be something here that you're not seeing um, clearly and for some of you guys it does have to be about you know your worthiness level because you've been challenged by a situation that's got you questioning your confidence you know maybe even your beauty or you know whatever it is um, so look out for other possibilities you do have an angel and guide that is definitely um, bringing you and wanting to bring you situations that's going to um, give you so much of, uh, of a new perspective enlightenment um, and also um, another opportunity where you guys have felt a misopportunity when it comes to the matters of the heart here. Just look for the magic in life and be aware of your own emotions. This is a lot of you guys, this is what that devil energy is because we could be um, very obsessed about a situation that has happened in the past, okay? Um, especially if it's, it really, if it really, you know, got your ego and pride, right? If you felt like rejected or, you know, you felt like not good enough or something just didn't go in, in your favor here. So be aware of your own emotions. Um, this is, this is the key. So one way that you guys can get out of this is just to take a few steps and, and start taking, doing things that really make you feel better. Um, you do have a lot to be proud of here. Um, so cherish and honor those things that you really love and, and first do it for yourself right now because I do see you getting and prepping yourself for a next phase of your life because you're ready for this, okay? Um, but you still, but honor your time. Uh, well, some of you guys may be ready. Some of you guys still need uh, time for resting and healing, okay? Um, what else for Virgo? So you got like two cards about resting, meditating, contemplating here, okay? Some of you guys, it's, yeah, you, you know, it's, you, our emotions might be all, all over the place, and so just be aware of that. What else for Virgo? Well, see, I told you, Virgo, you guys are getting ready. Okay, you guys are getting ready for something next in your life. It could be dating. It could be romance. There's definitely something that's going to make your heart flutter either way, okay? So we have the Knight of Water, which is the Knight of Cups. Falling in love. Oh, my gosh, I love this, Virgo. This Knight of Cups is on a dolphin, too. So I'm just seeing something so magical and playful. I love this. They're on a dolphin. That's so cute. Okay. Emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, and contemplative. Okay. Listen to this, Virgo. Falling in love or wedding proposals. So, yeah. See, some of you guys, it's just like some type of next phase. I'm telling you, you're getting ready for this. This is why the Queen of Pentacles Empress energy is showing up here. Um, now, listen to this, Virgo. There is this message here, the need to balance emotions. So, again, that is really being brought up. Um, it's about taking control, okay, having mind over matter, <clears throat> and really, um, please don't question your self-confidence. Sometimes shitty things happen to really good people, okay, but it's because it's challenging, challenging you to really up your worthiness level because you are so much more worthy than the crappy energy that you dealt with in the past here. 
it's so funny the owl I can hear this owl hooting so mm -hmm. oh, you guys are just uh, it's time to be guided by your intuition some of you guys there was a situation where I'm just hearing this owl it's like some of you guys there was a thing that was revealed to you um, that really was off-putting okay and it had you some of you had you questioning your self-worth an invitation to a social event that's really very interesting because I was talking to you guys about this three of summer um, this is I really sense this is a healthy time when you're ready and recharged here to be social take some social invites you've got to do it Virgo okay you've got the power to really re redirect the course of action so some of you Virgos you may end up dating or connecting with someone that is a strong water sign they don't have to but this person is very romantic and charming okay um, probably very intuitive um, and empathetic here so be prepared again this is why hello nurture yourself right um again i just was getting this thing about some of you guys you might might be already doing this taking care of your health a little bit better wanting to improve your looks a little better whatever it is all these things are about active self-love and it will help you start to alleviate negative emotions as well uh, what else for virgo what else for virgo there may be something here for some of you Virgos to to make sure you're drinking more water I don't know why I just had to say that what else for Virgo and something about being more flexible and flexibility here <laughs> it's funny that I said that now we've got the two of winter which is the two of stores two of swords you guys yeah there's definitely a feeling of blocked you know there's this feeling like uh, <laughs> listen indecision is holding you back make the choice that is best for you rather than trying to please others so that might be something very significant for some of you guys okay especially with that um the ego card coming here because some of you guys you know you may be trying some of you guys you may be nurturing too much on others here or caring about them so take that how that resonates okay now this is really interesting we've got the devil card which is this ego card feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional that's exactly what's going on so don't overanalyze maybe some of you guys back off from getting too much information or vice versa if you're not getting enough information go out and dig and get some more information and make a decision if something that you have to make a decision about but this is really speaking about um the, the mind and the head is the excuse me the mind and the heart are not lined up quite yet this is why um take care of your energy right now okay so um There may be something here too with this uh, two of uh, winter where where some of you guys there was maybe a stalemate situation or uh, or a situation where we've been ignored um, there may be uh, an opening in that okay but I'm really getting this as being um, about the heart and mind right now so that's what you need to be aware of okay uh, what else for Virgo That's so cute. Notice how it landed right on the Knight of Cups, and you're not going to believe it. It's the Ace of Summer, which is the Ace of Cups, and this one wants to show itself. Yeah, okay. This is... <laughs> okay, Virgo. Ace of Summer is the Ace of Cups, and it landed on this, uh, the Knight of Cup, Cups, which is, for some of you guys, you're going to be falling in love, okay? You're going to be courting and dating, whatever it is or some of you guys you're just going to be riding on this like wave of like emotional bliss so follow it 
Okay, open your heart to love. This is, I'm going to read this. So take what resonates and we'll talk a little bit about this. The beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one. Um, I, you know, again, there may be something here where <laughs> some of you guys, you may have a rebirth with a, a current or a past one here. Okay. The awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. Okay, Virgo, this is exactly what this hanged man is all about. So you guys better believe you're going to feel so much freedom in the mind and the heart. You guys are just going to be really confident about the opportunities that are coming to you. You're not going to question things anymore. You're really going to figure out why it all happened. Okay. So a lot of you Virgos, I just have to say, expect love. Okay. You just got to expect love. Um, six of winter is showing up here. Positive changes are on their way. Okay. This is a six of swords energy. So you guys are definitely in a transition of leaving these negative energies behind. Okay. That seven of swords energy, a welcome relief from troubled times, traveling or relocating for some of you guys. Okay. But really this is definitely signifying those positive changes are happening, especially when it comes to the matters of the heart. Um, and also improvements um, with things that um, that you guys got going on in, in your material um, life, your money, your house, your home, whatever, um, work, children, whatever. Uh, let's see, what else for Virgo? Right on that hanged man because um, I was thinking about that hanged man with the four of swords and the four of cups which are all about um, enlightenment um, we're not moving right we're getting some information um, because we're resting uh, five of fire here yeah I feel that there's a feeling of opposition with an energy that you guys have been dealing with um, some of you guys, some of you guys, uh, some of you Virgos, you may be competing for the same thing, or there was a situation where you had a lot of drama and jealousy going on in the past here, or it's currently happening. Um, so you guys really need to ask yourself if it's worth the battle, because I'm seeing a situation for some of you guys, it's not worth the battle. It's not worth competing or fighting for. Okay. Um, I want to get a little bit more uh, with this five of wands here. For Virgo, give me a little bit more about this Five of Wands. Okay, bring fun into everything that you do, juggling multiple priorities or job and an excellent, okay, you guys do, it's coming up twice about your guys' ability to um, multitask. So there may be some bothersome uh, details that are going on while you guys are really, tra okay, I really get it, yeah. While you guys are um, in this transition or traveling or relocating, just be aware to not get charged up. There's going to be things that are going to be challenging, right? You might feel conflicted. There may be some bothersome uh, details, right? Um, and there may be something here for some of you guys. You may be competing for something or doing something. I just have to bring that up. But bring fun. There is changes happening, you guys. Oh, my goodness. And these are good changes. But I feel there's going to be things that are going to be um, maybe conflicting because you might have to feel like you're juggling things. So some of you guys, you may want to drop something or you come to the conclusion of how to figure out more balance. But the key would be, you know, take time to recharge your energy and also to have fun. Okay. And this is just more confirmation that you guys, um, it's almost like nobody can compete with you is what I'm getting too, Virgo. I mean, look at this. You're showing up as the queen of pentacles with the empress energy, um, and the queen of wands energy. I mean, there's just, you can't compete. There's just like no other competes with you. That's how I feel. Um, okay. What else for Virgo? 
And I, I, I want to say that because for some of you guys, some of you guys are dealing with someone that is in this position where they're definitely having to be totally flipped upside down. They're not able to do anything because they've got, they have to get some type of enlightenment before anything can happen. <clears throat> and it's almost like they're, um, they're sensing like, you know, uh, they've got to really fight for you in a situation for some of you guys. That's what I'm getting, okay? But anyhow, let's continue and see what else comes out for you. What else for Virgo? Okay, let's see what this is. Yeah. It's page of fire, you guys. This is the page of wands. So it's like landing on this water in the night of the, the night of cups. News of an exciting new endeavor. You guys are going to be traveling or doing something and really moving. That's how you're going to feel in life, regardless if it's physical or not. Look, we've got the um, page of wands. So you guys are going to get. Uh, some of you guys just need to know to get really excited about a new endeavor, a new adventure for you. Um, there may be messages, communication, something that inspires you and gets you moving here. Use your originality and, uh, yeah, you guys are just geniuses. This is the thing. Have confidence in yourself, okay? You guys are ready for something new. This is a whole new, exciting, passionate time in your life or you're getting ready for this. Look, I even see the phoenix rising on this page of page of uh wands here expect expect something there's something exciting happening when it comes to a lot of your guys's love life or when it comes to um because uh, if some of you guys are already settled then it's it's definitely about your purpose and really um finding that beautiful flow where you're just in the flow um, and you're able to birth ideas and and, and really um sustain these things okay what else for Virgo? Fire sign is showing up, Virgo. There could be something for some of you Virgos with a vacation I'm hearing for some. All right, the moon. Yeah, you guys, this is all working behind the scenes and you don't even know that this is happening here. See, it's like seek out other possibilities, look for the magic in life, be aware of your own emotions. Sometimes when you're so involved with what you're go what's going on with your you know, internal self and, and what you don't like, it's hard to see um, opportunities. Uh, so just pay attention, okay? Because Spirit's letting you guys know a lot of you guys are getting important psychic information. This is why you want to be in that meditative state with the Four of Cups, um, the Four of Swords, and the Hanged Man. Because look, we've got this Moon card energy here. Okay, events behind the scenes. Release fears that hold you back. Things are working behind the scenes, Virgo. And what Spirit was showing me is something to do with the situation where we've got movement. Um, we got things... Um, that is sparking our uh, purpose, our abilities to translate um, and psychic uh, visions and premonitions here, okay? Release your fears is what Spirit is saying. Uh, what else for Virgo? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out how is Spirit helping Virgo? How is Spirit helping Virgo? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you guys, a wonderful opportunity related to your work or education, such as a promotion or scholarship. So you're definitely, um, you're getting a bit of good luck and something that is tangible. Now, so whatever is coming to you, um, there's definitely the potential of, of it being very prosperous and long lasting and loyal. Okay. Um, 
there's definitely definitely some type of news messages that's really going to get things moving for you an opportunity here seize the chance to learn something exciting or start a more rewarding or uplifting career for some of you guys okay and i can see that with the um, empress because maybe some of you guys you know you want to um, open up a whole another avenue for yourself when it comes to business ideas or projects or whatever you got going on um, spirits helping you guys learn and grow um, and I mean this is this is the uh, page of Pentacles here okay seize the chance to learn something exciting or start a more rewarding or uplifting career there's definitely a new opportunity and a bit of good luck here for you guys um, some of you guys may get some type of money as well that's going to help you guys uh, start something brand new you're going to learn something here all right i feel like getting a little bit more too with uh how spirit's helping you with that that uh page of pentacles So much independence here <laughs> yeah look at this let go of the past so, oh my gosh we've got the um we've got the uh we've got what am i saying the death card here let go of the past and ending that makes way for new opportunities time to move on and you have that six of swords so yeah spirit is really helping you guys with a new opportunity where you're going to grow you're going to learn you're going to be studying something and it's going to be something that you really enjoy or there may be some t something tangible it could be money um, whatever it is, it's going to help you guys really let go of that past. Okay. Spirit's really helping you guys transform yourself and to release the negativity that has been bogging some of you guys down. Okay. Cause you do not deserve that. All right. I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.